friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is management of an intumescent cataract let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and an air bubble is injected now beneath this air bubble type and blood dye is being injected to stain the anterior capsule and now this is a bit of adrenaline now the dye is washed out The main challenge in intumescent cataracts is capsular excess. Let us see how we can do it. Visco is injected. This is HPMC. It is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now one more paracentesis is done on the left side about 3 clock hours away now a 26 gauge bent needle is being used to incise the anterior capsule and make a C flap a curved flap here it is you can see some turbid fluid has come out there's some air bubbles depress the posterior leaf and let the air bubbles come out and now take a uterus out and convert this C flap into a small rexis I call it a mini rexis So the meniduxis is done. And now the intralenticular pressure has to be reduced thoroughly. And here I give adequate time to remove some cortical matter and decrease the intralenticular pressure. We can just irrigate inside the back by the irrigating probe of bimanual IA and just by irrigation a lot of cortical matter may come out. I'm using a Simco which causes irrigation and uh, whenever required I can use the aspiration. And now Visco has been injected into the anterior chamber. You can see the patient is under topical anesthesia. So here I fix the eyeball with the tooth forceps, use a vana scissor and make a cut at around 8 o'clock. This is not a radial cut, this is an oblique cut. And now I use the iterate again, go all around and do an optimum sized round rexis. And now is the time to manage the nucleus. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 and here goes the FECO needle inside the anterior chamber. The handpiece is turned and the bevel is now towards the cornea 
and now see this is direct shock bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus hold the nucleus very firmly and chop the nucleus hold it at another place and chop again free nuclear fragments may be emulsified either as they are made free or later so on hemineucleus has been managed and this is the other hemineucleus it has tumbled yes this nucleus is very brittle and such nuclei are very easy to chop very easy to divide them into fragments yes the nucleus has been removed we can see a small bit of nucleus near the left side port so what i'm doing is i want to remove that small piece first some small bits were incarcerated in the side port and here it is i'm going to remove this small piece first yes it has come out rest of the surgery is edited cortical cleanup is done very thoroughly with bimanual irrigation aspiration at this time i am doing hydro polish and now again i go to yes i was in high vac i have asked my assistant to go to capsule polish mode and i am going to polish the capsule with low vacuum yes it is nicely done yes a thorough job has been done thorough cleaning of cortical matter and now this is hydro implantation implantation of intraocular lens keeping the anterior chamber formed by hydro that is pss now rotate the lens and now after rotating the lens bit of moxi has been injected now the side ports are, are closed by corneal stromal hydration yes the case is almost done this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and after this the case will be concluded here it is ha uh, this is how you form the anterior chamber and conclude the case thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and sub the mankind with love respect compassion and great surgical competence